How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome back to another platformer game tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be uploading our game to the Skira Arcade. Now the Skira Arcade is an amazing platform for running your HTML5 export from Construct 2 and showing it to everybody who also uses Construct 2. It's a really wonderful place to host your games and people can vote on it, they can play it, and you can even tie in high scores and stuff like that. What we're going to do is we're going to set up this game to actually play for HTML5. Now, we've been kind of testing it out with NWJS, and it's been going very well. It works really well on desktop, and therefore, it should work automatically well on HTML5 or in any web browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project properties, and I'm going to scroll down here to where I have my preview browser, and I'm just going to change it from NWJS to Chrome. I use Chrome, so that's what I'm going to have. Then I want to change my full screen in brow browser to letterbox scale, so this will actually as it says here, resize the canvas to fill the entire browser window so when we upload, there won't be black bars around it. Now, this is something that you want to be caution, uh, cautionary of because it becomes an issue for mobile because the black bars are something that you might want to have on mobile, but this game was never intended to run on mobile, so I don't have to worry about it, but that's something that you want to read up on. You want to read up on what is the right aspect ratio for your game, how do you properly set that up. There's an amazing tutorial on that on the Skira blog, I believe, where you can read all about that, or it's the Skira, uh, Skira tutorial that you can read all about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to export for the Skira arcade, and if you don't know, it's on Skira.com, and you can go click on the arcade. And right here, we can hit upload a game. And once we do that, we just have to upload from a URL, or we could choose a file to upload. In this case, I'm going to choose a file to upload. So what I want to do is I want to go to my export project, and I actually just want to hit Skira Arcade. Now, I could alternatively do HTML5 website, but this is specifically for this game. So uh, this is specifically for the Skira Arcade. So what's going to happen is it's just going to make my life a lot easier. So I'm just going to double click on that. I'm actually going to call this Floof's Adventure Skira so I know which version it is because I have exported it for NWJS and there it goes right to my desktop. And we're going to let that export. Now what we're going to do and what we're going to need to actually finish our export is we're going to need a screenshot and it actually has to be I believe 450 by 300 pixels so I made a really small screenshot for us it's just kind of what's gonna happen alright so we finished exporting let's see right here and this is the benefit of doing the Skira Arcade uh, I can hit submit to the Skira Arcade right here and that's just gonna bring up this page which we already had open uh, or I could have hit open destination folder, which is going to give me this. And it's actually going to give me a zip file, which is great. So let's go over here. Let's choose a file to upload. Let me navigate back to that file. And let's pick that zip folder, just like that, and hit OK. And let's hit upload. So now that we have that, uh, we can actually start to fill out the details of our game. Simple game platformer. So you can see it already took the description from what I give it. So I'm going to give it a bigger description here. Now, there's some cool things that we can do with the BB code. So I'm going to show that down here for some formatting stuff for when we get into our controls. Right now, what I want to do is I want to give this a basic description. Floof's Adventure is about a small floof ball who runs and jumps on enemies heads and dodges spikes he can wall jump and slide and even has to defeat a mega boss cool so that's my description of the game and that could probably be used for a shorter description but that's all i really need to put in there for right now short description uh let's call this a mario like classic platformer platformer game all right, so now for the instructions, it actually says here in kind of grayed out text, you can see how I can make this look cool on the actual page. So if you've never seen a game before, we'll sh I'll show you one in a second and I'll show you this when it actually uploads. What I wanna do here is I wanna hit the open bracket and then hit K, and that's gonna be my tag for code. So what I wanna do is I wanna say the W key, uh, and let me actually do this. Let's say W key, and we're going to have to mess around with this to see how it works. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to end the K, so I want to do a slash K, and I can actually double check that. So let's go K, W, K, uh, slash K to close it out. And then let's do this as well. See, now I kind of want to put every single... Uh, 
you know, keyboard input or just input in general right there in the instructions, but I think it might make more sense to put it on a separate line. So what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste this and I can call this W or the up arrow or the gamepad. Gamepad. Uh, let's call this the, hmm, do we want to say left analog? Doesn't really matter here because they're all doing the same thing. And it's kind of hard to explain how we want this to work. So what I can do here is I can say this, WASD arrow keys or gamepad. There we go. That's actually a lot better. I don't know why I was trying. You can also space it out. If I cut this out, you can see uh, the grayed out. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to pop back up. But you can see uh, before you do that that you can enter in multiple keys, W, A, S, and D, and separate them, and it'll look really cool, and I'll show you that in a second on the page. All right, the, no the next key, uh, thing that I want to do here is I want to say K. I want to say, uh, here's what I want to do. Uh, we're going to call this our movement, and we're going to say uh, options. Let's say designated from options menu, so you can pick. Uh, we're going to call this movement. Let's copy that, paste that, and paste that. This one is going to be our wall slide. So uh, our our wall slide is actually S. Whoops, there we go. S, and let's say slash K, and let's call this wall slide. Uh, and then for our gamepad, our wall slide is going to be, let's say, I think it's X, I believe. So let's go this, slash K, wall slide and we're going to say gamepad and this will say keyboard and this is just giving the basic instructions to the game so then the other thing is I can say K X slash K to advance dialogue what else would I like to include for the instructions of my game I want to say this is an engine in which you can do all the classic platform platformer game mm, let's see this is an engine in which you can do all the classic platformer game stuff you can jump on enemies heads I'm just gonna reiterate here what you can do jump on enemies heads dodge spikes collect coins and power-ups and defeat an evil boss there we go. So this is the instructions for the game. Now they know exactly what to do. Plus they actually have these instructions kind of designed specifically for the Skira Arcade. So which category best designs this? Uh, I'm going to kind of put this under, let's think here. Uh, shooting game, sports game, strategy game, other game. It might have to go under other because it's not really uh, action adventure. Well, it kind of is. Uh, I would put it under adventure game. This is version 1.0. It's not mobile enabled. Uh, is this game work in progress? No, it is not. There is no adult content, and let's update the details. All right, now I must pick my picture, 450 by 300, so let's choose a file. Let me go to my desktop, and you can see this picture. Now, I kind of just threw this screenshot together, but it'll do for what I want it to do. And let me open it up here. You can see it. So this is just going to kindly, it's, it's just going to state, Floof's adventure game. It has the enemy, it has the platform, it has the spikes, and it has a sign, and it just kind of hopefully incorporates everything that this game has, and hopefully that'll do enough. You kind of want to focus on your screenshot and make it uh, really clean and really sleek. I didn't actually uh, take the time to make this perfect, but that's okay because I think you'll get the point from watching all these videos what this game is about. So when I hit upload, this should technically upload my game. So let's hit upload and see how this goes. Uh, one more thing to do here. I confirm this game contains no third-party advertisements. I confirm I hold all the copyrights. Uh, I can read the terms and conditions, and oh, the terms and conditions didn't load, but basically it's every other terms and conditions. This game does not contain any images, racism, anything like that, and let's hit publish. All right, there we go. My game is now live. Congratulations. So let's click on this. And now you can actually see my game. And you know what? It actually didn't load from the first. Uh, it didn't load from the first menu screen. So I need to fix that real fast. But before I do that, let's go check out our game instructions and see how they look. So because I was able to do the K thing, now I can actually see here how this is supposed to work. S is wall slide for the keyboard. X is wall slide for the gamepad. 
X advances the dialogue, arrow keys, gamepad, and WSND for movement. I could probably put one more instruction for jump, but there we go. So I realized that I messed up and I actually didn't uh, do this correctly. So let's go and look at our project properties here. And the first layout in the project is not the menu layout. So that's the big, big no-no there. So what I need to do now is I actually need to re-export this. So let's do that and hit export right where I exported it before. And then after that, it'll ask me if I want to submit it to the Skira store. So as soon as it's finished exporting, I can fortunately edit this project. So let's let it export. And while it is exporting, there it goes. I'm going to hit submit to Skira Arcade. It's going to load this back up here, but all I need to do is go back to this page. And if there's not an edit button here, which there is, so right there, edit. And then what I need to do here is I need to, let's see, where is it? Upload a new picture? No. Let's go to my game. So I have some other games that are live here. Floof's Adventure. I want to upload new version. There it is. Choose file. Let's go back to Floof's Adventure. This will be the updated zip file. And let's hit OK. And let's hit Upload. Just like that. The Skira Arcade is extremely flexible. And now we have our menu. We have everything that we need. Options, full screen works. Everything like that. Perfect. Let's see here. Go full screen. There's even some extra buttons that you can use around here. Awesome. Let me turn the music off so you can hear me. Let's go to our options. Mute the music. Okay, cool. So that's the Skira Arcade. It has a whole lot of features. You can actually incorporate a scoreboard and some other stuff, which is really cool. Uh, you can favorite this game, look at the game instructions. I'm just kind of going over everything that you could do here. We could actually put in the screenshot capabilities, although it looked like I took one. Uh, let's think what else. You can promote your game, which is pretty cool. You can tweet about it if you have a Twitter account. Uh, you can share it on Facebook or Google+. So the Skira Arcade is a great way to actually get your game some recognition that it might be missing. Uh, I hope that you have learned a lot from these videos. It really has been fun making these videos and making this game uh, has been very fun and very enjoyable because this is kind of the standard platformer game that we all grew up with. So it's really enjoyable to play these kind of games and make these kind of games and just kind of work with these kind of games. So let's look here at the adventure game section. I am now uh, the first because I'm the newest, but you can see some of the screenshots here. And if I actually go to the hot games section or the top games, you can see the screenshots that they use and how they just kind of draw you in. Uh, they're all very clean screenshots and they really try to just illustrate what the game is without actually throwing all that information in your face. It's just kind of like a nice uh, tribute to what your game is and then your description can handle the rest. So let's actually go and look at my description there. Mario like classic platformer game. I probably could have done a better job with that description. But now you can actually see my game. My game is up and running. And there you go. So you can actually upload it to the Skira Arcade. You can give out this link. You can give it to people to check out. So that is the Skira Arcade. I hope this has taught you how to actually export your game to the Skira Arcade, and you can do that now. If you did want to export to desktop, uh, you'd have to buy the personal license of Construct 2, which you can also do on the Skira website. Uh, and then all you have to do is go down here to NWJS, hit Next, and then hit Export, and then it'll actually export a desktop build. It'll actually export two desktop builds for Windows. It'll export a Win64 and a Win32. And then it'll also export a Linux version and a Mac version, which is really nice. Node WebKit is being hugely upgraded right now, so everything is really nice with the desktop version. I personally love developing for desktop and HTML5, and it's going to work flawlessly. So really happy about that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to say. I really hope that you've learned a whole lot from these video series. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions or if something's not working and you need to reach out to me, leave a comment and I'll try to message you back. If you need to get in touch with me, you can always just go to my YouTube channel and message me somewhere or get in touch. Again, my name is Jeremy Alexander. Thank you so much for watching this video series and hanging in there and listening to me talk and ramble and talk and just kind of teach you how to make this game. I really do hope that you can take everything that we did here with no plugins. I really hope you can make a great game with Construct 2. I look forward to playing it. So please send me your games. Please send me what you make from this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.